I'm Sir Tap Tap, and I'm doing a little series of these little food fantasy tutorials. This one's a pretty simple one. This is the airship, or decapod hauler as it calls it. Uh, this unlocks at level 22 for your player. And just a little note, uh, these little question marks that, that the game has, these are actually helpful for, for once. In most games, they're like completely worthless. <laughs> but they're actually not too bad in this. So what the hauler does is it comes every eight hours after you send it off, and it wants certain things. Um, as you can see here, it wants some experience bottles, it wants some raw ingredients, it wants some cooked dishes. And your reward, you get a reward per crate that you ship off, as you can see, you know, some worthless money, uh, some nice magic crystals, uh, some stamina, that's always good. Um, and you also, as you finish the whole thing and send it off, you get some points, which has, there's a ranking, there's a weekly ranking, and you get uh, rewards based on your ranking there. You also get rewards even if you don't rank, so this game's pretty generous for that. Um, you also get some cooking power, and you get some super rare shards, and uh, regular rare shards. Um, this, the hauler is the only way to get Cloud T in the game. Uh, Cloud T is an ultra rare, so you're gonna need 80 shards from this, so it'll take you a while, but it's a good idea to keep up on your airships. Uh, airships are also a guild quest kind of thing, so you want to keep up just in general. You can also get, it's a good way to ascend some shards, uh, especially to get to one or two stars, because those are fairly cheap. You can get some random super rare shards. So the things that the hauler can ask for are pretty, all pretty straightforward. It can ask for medium or small experience bottles, which some people are like, oh no, my experience bottles. But you get so many of these from sweeping, it's really not a big deal. I've got over a thousand, look at that. So yeah, you can get, you can get some materials from this. Um, explorations are generally the better ways to get those materials, like the wood and steel. But for those of you wondering how to upgrade your uh, restaurant, this is one of the ways. Uh, not the most consistent way, but yeah. Um, raw ingredients will come in set of 12s that it asks for. So we already have those salmon. Uh, already have that starch. Uh, any dishes that'll come in sets of five that you gotta make. And exquisite dishes do not count, so we don't have quite enough eggs. Let's get some eggs. Um, it will never ask for lost cuisine as far as I've seen. So you can save your lost cuisine for... Oh, Parker, my, my cat is putting his head on the back button. Um, there we go. Let's send that off. Um, oh, Parker, <laughs> stop doing that. He keeps putting his face on the, the back button. No, no, shut up. Shut up, orange juice. Why are you even? Why are you even my thing? Let me make somebody not orange juice. Better. Uh, <laughs> Don't like orange juice. I keep getting her in my pulse, which makes me angry. Um, so I can make four. Oh, and if you get an exquisite while making these dishes, just like the other, just like the deliveries, exquisite dishes don't count. So, <laughs> kind of a little annoying. But the exquisite dishes are good. They, uh, if you feed an exquisite dish to your to a food soul that that's their favorite food, um, you get a nice bonus to fondness. Um, oh yeah, while you're doing the decapod hauler things, you might as well, if you have lots of ingredients, which I do, you might as well to just try to, um, condiment with some spice to it. Is that... I think that's referring to ginger. Well, let's find out. No, it was not ginger. I don't know what that's referring to. Or grainy... Oh, that might have just been black pepper. Um, but yeah, you might as well try the, um... Yeah, you might as well try to use some, uh, get some extra experience by using, tap anywhere to close. Get out of here. There you go. Uh, condiments to kind of level them up better. So let's crate that up. Make our last braised octopus boy there. Delicious. Crate that up. So now that we've finished it up, you can set sail. The airship's pretty simple. It sends off for eight hours. And, um, a good way to set it up is to send it off just before bed, and then it'll be kind of synced to your schedule. Assuming you can, you know, get enough stamina to fill it in all three times. Um, assuming you sleep eight hours, and not like, you know, ten, but whatever. So you get, I think, any shard. I think you can get any. I, I, I definitely see some a bit more commonly, but I think you can get basically any super rare or regular rare shard. 
Uh, as far as ultra rares, it is only Cloud T, but Cloud T can only be gotten through that, so that's not too bad. You also get the advanced manifest here, so what you can actually do is uh, click on these and you can go and farm them right now. So I can see I have enough corn because it's going to be 12 corn. Uh, I have enough experience bottles because, oh my gosh, I have so many. Black pepper beef I don't have, so I can go just straight from this menu. I can go here. I can get the ingredients through here. I really love that this game has this feature where you can just click through and, you know, go straight to the level to grind it. It's really great. Um, but yeah, you should just take note that you'll need 12 of every ingredient and 5 of every dish. So I could prepare for this just right now. In fact, let's make some uh, onion fried rice. Oh, I don't have anything. But yeah, it's uh, very nice that you can do that, and it lets you uh, it lets you not waste stamina. One of the one of the things I find in this game that I run out of the most definitely stamina. So definitely use your stamina before bed, and this is a good way to know exactly what to try to make. Some slightly rough but fine granules, seasoning that makes people hot. I assume that's yeah. Let's get some spicy boy. Wait, royal dressing. Royal dressing? What do you mean royal dressing? Is, is lots of peppers considered royal dressing? I don't understand. Oh, I can upgrade this, but then I wouldn't be able to make the stuff. Oh, well, I want to upgrade that. You, you get the picture. You get you understand. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is for the airship. It's fairly simple. Uh, it's one of those things that you can pay the timer down with gems. Don't do that. That's that's a whale trap. That's It's not really worth it for any kind of casual player. But yeah, that's pretty much all there is to the airship. It's uh, pretty simple. Uh, if you want uh, other guides, I've got a whole playlist of them, and you can see a little end card at the end of this video that'll take you right to them. And if you want to see, uh, if you want to get any new stuff, make sure to subscribe.